So the Biden administration has done it again. The reports are saying that President Biden is expected to again extend the student loan payment pause. This pause currently expires on May 1st. However, what we are seeing right now is that there's been an overwhelming response from the American people and from lawmakers. And because of this, the Biden administration has decided that they are going to extend the payment pause until the end of August. That's August 31st. Now, why is this so important? Number one thing you need to understand is that if this is going to be extended until August 31st, here's the issue. What comes in November? In November, so just a couple months after the expiration of this of this you know, payment pause, that is when the election, the midterm elections, big, big deal. Okay, so what does this mean for the midterm elections? I want to address that, but first, let's get into some of the, the big things that we need to really understand because this is a big deal, and there's a few reasons why. First, this is going to provide some, some relief. You know, some, some are going to call it you know, stimulus to roughly 45 million Americans. With the average federal student loan payment being a little bit under $400 per month, this is huge. If the average person is saving $400 per month from now until the end of August, okay, that's big. We're at the beginning of April, okay? So we got May, let's just, we'll just include April. April, May, June, July, August, five months, about $2,000 that they will save. This is huge because lawmakers have been urging President Biden and pretty much anybody in the Biden administration that will listen, that you either need to forgive student debt or extend the payment pause. And with the news today, what we do know is that according to uh, White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain, he stated that the Biden administration is going to push back the payments until they have a definite answer as to whether or not President Biden can do an executive order to forgive up to $10,000 in student debt. Now, why, again, why is this so important? Number one, it's going to save million, billions of dollars, billions of dollars, okay, in student debt, which the American people then can take that money, go and put it on, you know, for a new house, pay down debt, just afford the expensive food and gas that we are currently consuming. But one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that this could mean that additional assistance for the American people could be coming sometime in 2022. And I will address that in just a minute. But first, let's get into the second reason why extending the payment pause is a big deal. Now, an additional extension, it shows that the American people do need additional help. If the American people didn't need additional help and they, they weren't struggling, why would the administration push this back? They wouldn't. So. This assistance, again, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but this assistance, according to multiple experts, could mean that there's, there's another push for additional assistance and relief for other groups. And I've talked about this before. If we see the student loan payment pause get extended or student debt get forgiven, what we could also see, because there's other promises that President Biden made, other than just forgiving up to $10,000 in student debt, one of those problems, is he wanted to help people on a fixed income or those people on social security. He wanted to provide $200 per month, every single month to somebody on social security. Well, we could also see uh, another group call for additional payments. And these are parents specifically. And I've heard over the past couple of weeks that there has been talks of if we cannot give parents a child tax credit payment, what about giving the individual parent, okay, single parents, giving them a child tax credit payment, but it has to go to the parent that has the majority of, of uh, you know, the, the children the majority of the time, right? 50%, 51% or more uh, of the time. Now, again, there's a lot of issues there, but we could see those uh, start to come back, start to get a little more uh, support behind them. Now we can also see, because we do know that lower income earners 
are negatively impacted by all this inflation. So guess what? That could be another group. And again, this is just according to experts that if we see one group get some form of assistance, which the, the student debt payment pause getting pushed back, that's pretty big. So we could see more coming very soon. Again, I don't want to promise anything. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but experts say that it's a higher chance of it happening now than before. And what we have heard in the past is that lawmakers need to be fair. That's what lawmakers said, that, that they want to be fair. And even many lawmakers stated that providing assistance to just one piece of the economy, it helps, it's beneficial, but by doing that and not others, it's not a good way to build back, uh, well, I guess we can say build back better, but not a good way to build back to what we once had and get back to our normal lives. So according to experts, this could this move could actually usher in some new changes. Again, what those changes are, I don't know. But as soon as we get any more information on that, I promise I will fill you in. And finally, let's talk about what this means and what this what could come out of this for the Biden administration. Because being that they extended the student loan payment pause until August 31st, or you know, I'm saying extended, okay? But if you look at this, it says it is expected to extend the payment for student loans, okay? Expected. And I say this because what you need to keep in mind is that that announcement is supposed to come tomorrow on Wednesday, okay? So I'm just providing the news for you guys, but this is what is likely to come out tomorrow. But here's the big thing. According to multiple reports, what we are seeing right now is this could be huge for the midterm elections come November. And they say this because having something as major as a student loan payment resume right before a, a, an election, they say this could be catastrophic for Democrats if they do not plan this correctly. Now, we have seen over the past year that Democrats have not been getting their way. They have the majority in the House, the Senate, and they got the presidency, but they can't get anything done because the Senate is split 50-50. So, according to a few analysts, they say they are expecting, okay, they are expecting that one of two things is going to occur right before the election. And I'm talking about probably sometime in August, that we are gonna see one of two things. Number one, we'll either see the student uh, student loan forgiveness happen of up to $10,000 per student. That's the first option. The second option, which is actually most likely, is these student loan payments. These will be paused again. We'll see another uh, you know, payment pause extension, and this will likely go to the end of 2022. And the purpose behind that is if we see student loan payments resume right in the beginning of September, and then the American people, or these 40 plus million people that have student debt, they're gonna be like, so we're still struggling, but now we have to pay these our, our debts back and our payments now? You want that to happen now? And then two months two months to go to the election, we got September and October, guess what? Those people will be like, well, I don't want to vote for that guy. That guy promised me I would get my debt paid off. I'd get up to $10,000 of student debt forgiven. And he lied. I'm not going to vote for Democrats. So that's why experts are saying that if President Biden and Democrats want to retain control of the House and the Senate, the first thing that they need to do is stick to their promises. And what's one way to do that? Either fulfill those promises, provide student debt forgiveness, or extend the payments till it's past the election and then it doesn't matter what you do because you would already have either won the House and Senate and you, you still got those the, the, the majority or you lose and then it doesn't really matter. So as of right now, the Biden administration, they do want to provide more relief, not just to uh, you know people with student debt, but to the American people to help to pay for the rising costs that we are currency currently seeing. So one thing I can tell you is if we do see student uh, people with student debt get some form of relief, the odds, according to experts of other groups, getting something as well is actually going to increase quite a bit. 
So that's what we know at this time. Again, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens from this, because I can tell you for the past year, as soon as we start seeing that the dates coming up for these this uh, student debt payment pause expiration, as soon as we see this, what happens is, you know, lawmakers start to get a little a little antsy, like we got to do something. Let's go. And that's exactly what happened here. So we'll see what happens once this is announced, most likely tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens come August. But again, I will be here every step of the way. If you have any questions whatsoever, ask your questions down in the comment section below. Again, just want to thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.